and four hundred house Tension mounts as the lights go down Shadows move, music loud And I get taken under the spell of the screen Clear moon night in the country town The great flood makes me wonder aloud Should I stay or should I go? I better leave and watch the late night show Turn around, people stare and check me out Lift me up, put me down Into the scene where the monster comes Future to town is now. Future shot For the first ever British Windsurf Pro World Cup, O'Neill invited the best professional windsurfers in the world to come to the ultimate windsurf locations of Penzance and Hale in West Cornwall. Among them, women's runner-up Brick Dunkerbeck from Spain. An undisputed top dog is definitely Robbie Nash. The Hawaiian Grandmaster of Windsurfing has been collecting world titles since he won the 1976 World Championships at the age of 13. Now he's pushing hard to regain the crown he lost last year to Bjorn the Machine Dunkerbeck. Marazion Bay, the start of the course race discipline. After a mass start on the water, each competitor looks for the best air. Here, Dutchman Stefan van den Berg with sail number H1 tacks to get rid of his direct opponents. Former Olympic champion develops an incredible speed, and depending on his tactical genius, Stefan soon finds himself leading the pack. Far behind Vandenberg, Sweden's Anders Bringdahl fights his way up through the field to take second place. Nash is somewhat behind. This flat water racing is not really his cup of tea, and he can't wait for those Atlantic waves to come. The women's fleet is headed by Britt Dunkerbeck. Reigning world champion Natalie Lalibra has to settle for second place this time. Stefan Vandenberg decisively wins this course race. Take the right start and go into the right wind shift and, and use the wind in the places where it is the strongest and try to find the places. 
uh, makes us makes us for me really interesting. Me as maybe being more a sailor than a windsurfer sometimes. The only real problems with being a professional windsurfer is the amount of gear that we have to travel around with. Uh, what I've got here on tour with me is a full-size course racing board, a slalom course board, three slalom boards, a light wind, a medium wind, and a strong wind, and then two wave boards, a light wind wave and a strong wind wave. I've got 17 sails with me, uh, ranging in size from 7.7 .7 down to 2.8, both wave and course slalom sails, a boom for every rig, a mast for every rig, and a basin universal for every rig. I've got three bags of fins, a bag of vertical course slalom fins, a bag of swept back slalom fins, and a bag of wave fins. I've got two course board dagger boards, a bunch of different sized wetsuits for different water and wind and cold conditions, uh, lines, straps, roof racks, three different kinds of harnesses, a chest, a waist, and a butt harness. So that's it. It averages for a big contest somewhere between three and four hundred kilos of gear, uh, including my wet jacket and surfboard. And carrying it around, getting it to planes, and putting it away in the evening is a real hassle. everybody has been waiting for arrived to set the scene for an outrageous O'Neill expression session. There's only one rule, go big or go home.
goes very big and convincingly wins the O'Neill Expression Session. The wave sanding one really surprised me. Um, I had seen some mediocre pictures in surfer mag magazines over the years, and a little bit of windsurfing, but nothing great. We went surfing earlier in the week when there was no wind on the other side by Land's End. We had some classic waves. Uh, it was small, but really clean, and you could see the potential. And then the other day here, sailing, the wind was about as bad as it can be and still be able to get in the water. But the waves were great. It was like a, a fun day at Diamond Head in the middle of summer when the swell is running. And I was quite impressed. You can see the potential that it must get really good here at times. I try and you know, use what's there. You see a lot of guys, they'll, they'll set up, and they'll be coming down the line, and they'll be wasting a lot of nice well just to do one big off the lip. And I mean, it's great that you do one killer off the lip, but if you've wasted a really nice wave in the process, I'd prefer to try and set up instead of just going straight down the line, make, maybe make a few turns before you come in and hit that lip. to you know, the furthest extent, ride it all the way into the beach, keep working the white water. For me, it's just a blast. You know, it's, it's the, the most fun thing that there is for me in the world to do. You know, I love to surf and skateboard and drive cars and you know, just about anything, but none of them compared to good wave sailing on a windsurfer.